First up four, the state of Oklahoma executes a man who brutally murdered a Tulsa mother of two back in 1995. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Cooper. And I'm Kristen Weaver. Jermaine Cannon was on death row for 27 years after escaping from prison, then stabbing Sharonta Clark to death in her apartment. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter was in the execution chamber today and has the details. Sharonda Clark's daughter spoke to us after the execution today and says she's happy this is finally all over, but says she doesn't really feel like this is justice because Jermaine Cannon died in peace and her mom was brutally murdered. I was one of the five media witnesses in the execution chamber today. The curtain was raised right at 10 a.m. And when asked if he had any final words, Cannon said, quote, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, therefore I am saved. Cannon didn't mention the victim at all or show any remorse. He had maintained his innocence for nearly three decades. Sharonda's daughter, Yashen White, says she wasn't surprised Cannon didn't show any remorse today because he never has and has never apologized. She called Cannon Cannon's last words selfish. Cannon's execution appeared quick and peaceful. He had some family members and legal team there and gave them a thumbs up and a half smile, but Cannon then closed his eyes and appeared to be asleep about three minutes later. Cannon was pronounced unconscious at 10.06 and deceased at 10.13. Sharonda's daughter says it's taken a long time to get to this day, but she wants her mom to know they never stopped fighting for her. This is the start um, of a new journey, a new chapter, not only for myself and for my family, but also for the other surviving victims. We can now easily breathe at ease. Sharonda's daughter also repeatedly thanked the DOC staff, Attorney General's office, and Tulsa police for their years of support. Now, next up is Anthony Sanchez, who was set to be executed in September for killing an OU student back in 1996. In McAllister, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.